I'm not into black women. Uh, oh. <laughs> Why is this always the answer? I need to know this right now. So you think I'm ugly? No, that's not it. You're conventionally a very pretty girl. It's just a preference. I actually tried to kind of see a black girl for a little bit, but I literally, I just couldn't like get into it. Like, I mean, if a girl's half, it's different. But like a girl who's like fully black, I just, for some reason, it's just. So it's just like a preference of skin tone. So you don't like black people. No, I love black people, but I'm just not attracted sexually to black women. What? Being homophobic in 2024, while also possessing one of the fiercest mugs I have ever seen on RuPaul internet has to be one of the most painfully ironic things I have seen in a long time. Wasting all of your youth on being bigoted and going after LGBTQ people on the internet while striking a pose this nasty and possessing a waist only a Kardashian could ever dream of is quite girly pop if I do say so myself. And there's nothing wrong with that. Being gay is great. Being homophobic is lame. And no matter how many weights you lift to feel masculine, it's not going to fix whatever insecurity that you're dealing with. Quick question, do this. I'm trying to see something. All right, guys, so we got to talk about this video going viral of this woke individual who happens to be black uh, getting triggered and boohoo whining crying racism over a white male saying that, hey, listen, I'm not really attracted to black women like that. OK, it's just it just doesn't work for me. OK, I, I'm assuming he can't get it up. Right. It just. <laughs> right. It just don't happen. Right. It just don't function. OK, the magic does not happen around black women. OK, of a certain skin tone right when you know they're darker and uh of course again you have some people who are upset by this because apparently you're not allowed to have preferences when it comes to dating uh and i want to react to this guy uh basically getting triggered by uh this white guy just you know stating his, his dating preferences which I, I don't think is anything wrong with him so without further ado let's get to it i'm not into black women oh <laughs> preference i actually tried to kind of see a black girl for a little bit but i literally i just couldn't like get into it like i mean yeah so it wasn't working for him right which is not something that he can control right he can't control that naturally it just wasn't working for him i'm sure a lot of men have been in those situations okay <laughs> uh and you know hey sometimes it just doesn't happen and for him it just doesn't happen with uh with black women if a girl's half, it's different. I'm just not attracted sexually to black women. Y'all really need to learn the difference between preference and bias because it cannot keep whooping y'all like this. For example, I prefer apples over bananas. Does that mean if you hand me an apple, I'm gonna throw it up and light you on fire? No, I'm gonna still eat the apple because I don't mind apples. They're okay, I just prefer to have a banana. Now, walk with me here. Let's apply this to dating. To prefer to date one specific race does not mean that you exclude all other races because I don't know if nobody told y'all, there's no such thing as a race-based sexuality. If you are attracted to men, you're going to be attracted to male characteristics. Okay, now again, this is the type of silly logic that they use to accuse you of transphobia when men say, listen, I don't wanna date a trans woman because I'm not attracted to biological men. They say, no, 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 well, you're transphobic, right? Because a trans woman has woman features. So therefore, if you are attracted to women features, then you should be attracted to transgender women. And because you're not attracted to transgender women, then that just means that you're not attracted to them because they're trans, not because of their woman features, which would make you transphobic. But again, what these people don't understand is that it's not just about being attracted to women characteristics or women features. No, it's also about the fact that you know that the individual who's trans uh, is not a biological woman, okay? And there are many things that a man would desire out of a biological woman that a trans woman cannot provide. Also on top of that, a lot of these trans women still have penises, which again, would make you technically homosexual, okay, as a man to engage in uh, sexual behavior uh, with someone that has a penis. And even if they uh, end up getting rid of that, the trans individual, um, the artificial vagina, uh, I don't think is as good as the real thing, okay? Now, I haven't tried the artificial, okay? Uh, I stick to the natural, but uh, I, I just don't think that medical technology has gotten there yet. And I don't think it will, okay? I do not think that um, medical technology will be able to replicate or replace one of God's greatest creations, okay? I'm just saying, I don't think that that could happen. So my point is that this is the same line of logic and reasoning that they use in order to call people transphobic, right? This is what they do to claim bigotry uh, when it comes to dating, which is something that is done specifically uh, by black women and 
um, transgender individuals, right? Have you guys noticed that guilt is the main tool used by these individuals in order to try to get people to date them, right? With black women say, well, if you don't like me, then you must be a racist. Okay, you must be a bigot. Um, and it's like, okay, well, if you want to call me racist, that's fine, right? A transgender individual says, well, if you don't like me, then you must be transphobic. And it's like, okay, well, if that's what you want to say, that's fine. But again, you know, I'm, I'm not gay, right? I don't like penises. So therefore, again, you know, if that's what you want to call me, if you want to say I'm some type of bigot, because of that, then, hey, you know, it is what it is, right? Uh, but again, this guy is trying to make some distinction between preferences and biases. Uh, you can call it whatever you want to call it, right? You're not going to guilt trip me into wanting to have a relationship <laughs> of a sexual nature with somebody that I just don't want to do it with for whatever reason. You can say what you want about it, but you're never going to guilt trip me into doing that. And this is what they're trying to do. And it's really sad, okay? It really is. It is sad when you have to use guilt as a mechanism for attracting a partner, right? It, it doesn't, it, it's just not a good look regardless of what your preferences are so if you genuinely find yourself unattracted to somebody simply because of their skin tone i promise you that is not a preference that is a bias and it's rooted in a certain ism that i will not say because y'all love to gaslight y'all got hey you know what it is what it is brother if you want to say it's racist cool <laughs> right i'm totally fine with it right if you want to say that racial preferences or bias whatever you want to call it if that's racist fine Right. And I, I, here's the thing. I have my own biases when it comes to dating. It just so happens to not necessarily be a racial bias, but it's a cultural bias. OK. And it just so happens that my cultural bias uh, probably would <laughs> exclude a lot of black women. OK. But also it may exclude a lot of white women as well, too. Okay, it's some Latino women, but it's not the stereotype that is typically pushed by the left when it comes to black conservatives, which is that, oh, well, black conservatives, they just like white women and they hate black women. It's like, no, 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 I don't hate black women. Okay, I am actually physically attracted to uh, women all across the spectrum. Okay, um, n uh, not particularly on the extremes. Okay, of <laughs> both ends. Okay, and you can say what you want. You call me racist. You can call me a colorist. I don't give a damn. Okay, I'm just telling you what it is. Uh, but again, I don't have a bias against black women. I have a bias when it comes to culture, right? I have a cultural bias, okay? And that cultural bias, yes, that's going to uh, exclude some people, right? Racially, there's going to be some people that are going to be like, okay, well, you know, probably not going to be the best match or fit for me, okay? But that's okay, right? There's nothing wrong with that. Just like there's nothing wrong with having a straight up racial bias when it comes to dating, right? If you say, listen, I'm white. I want to be with a white woman because I want white kids, okay? I have no problem with that whatsoever. I have zero issues with that. I will never complain about that. The same way nobody ever complains about when uh, black people say, hey, I'm only going to date somebody black, right? I only date black men. I only date black women or whatever. Nobody ever says, hey, you're racist, right? You're, you're a racist asshole and uh, you're wrong, okay? You are wrong for not wanting to date white people or anybody else. Nobody ever says that. It's only a problem when white people say, I just want to stick to my own race, which I have no problems with, just like I have no problems with black people doing it. Now, what I think is weird and what I do kind of have a problem with is people trying to police it, right? Now, again, if you personally feel like, okay, well, it's best for black people to you know, mix with black people and for white people to mix with white people. If you personally feel like that, that's fine. I get that. But I do think it's weird when people try to force their own viewpoint on other people when it comes to their racial uh, ideology on dating. I think that's weird, okay? I think what this dude is doing is weird. I think it's weird when you get upset and triggered by a white man saying, listen, I'm just not attracted to black women. I can't get it up, man. It just, it just can't happen for me when it comes to black women. I'm sorry. That is just how it is. You can't change that, right? These are the same people who want to be accepted for uh, what they prefer when it comes to their alternative lifestyles, but they can't accept everybody else's preferences, right? They say, well, listen, if I want to be with a dude, okay, and I'm a dude, if I want to be in a homosexual relationship, well, that's just my preference, right? I just prefer men, okay? That's what I want to be with, okay? Uh, and they say that, well, you just have to accept that. But they don't want to accept the white man having his own preference or say that, listen, I just want to date a white woman or you know, I'm just not into black girls like that. It is what it is. Nah, they can't accept that, right? But you're supposed to accept their lifestyle and their dating preferences. Again, it's just, it's amazing how that works. 
That's like anybody that tells y'all some of y'all's racial preferences are not even preferences. They're just outright discrimination. And I'm not going to take it because y'all. And that's fine. Discrimination is totally fine when it comes to uh, dating. Okay. Because there are more ways to discriminate against somebody than just their race. Okay. You can discriminate based off a whole lot of things. Again, I'm not sure exactly what type of lifestyle this individual is into, but if he is into an alternative lifestyle, then I can make the argument that, hey, you're a bigot and that you're discriminating against women because you refuse to date women, right? If this person was into that lifestyle, I'm not entirely sure. I'm just saying as an example, um, but that, that would sound stupid. It would sound stupid for me to say that you're a bigot because you don't want to date women and that you like men, okay? Um, but I, I would never say anything like that because it's just a very dumb thing to say. Y'all refuse to critically think and y'all just want to be dense about this topic. Let's be real for a moment. If you are the type of person that would not date a specific race and when asked why you're sitting there stuttering and, and scrambling and all you can list out are just negative stereotypes about that specific race, you're racist. <laughs> that's the T, that's the truth. And before y'all get in my comments talking about why do you care who people date? I don't care. And you know I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> you actually do care. Because if you didn't care, you wouldn't be making this uh, video. Okay? That's how it works. You can't say that you don't care, but yet you're making a video clearly showing that you care, right? You're not just going to let people slide with racism and dating. So, yeah, you're triggered, right? You care a lot. Don't care because that was never the argument. I said a lot of y'all do not know the difference between racial preferences and having a bias against a certain group of people. And 99.9% .9 of the time, that bias is just straight up rooted in racism or some type of ism. And I think that's very weird. And a lot of y'all are not being 100% honest with yourselves when we have these adult discussions. Preferences are always rooted in something. You don't come out the womb being physically unattracted to somebody's skin tone. That's How do you know that? How do you know that? How do you know that? Again, these are the same people that will argue that, well, out in the womb, I was attracted to the same sex, okay? Out in the womb. So you can't judge me. You can't say that what I'm doing is wrong, okay? You can't outlaw it. I was born like this, right? But born like this doesn't apply when it comes to racial preferences or biases, whatever you want to call it, in dating. Come on, man. You can't be serious, right? I need somebody to ask this guy whether or not homosexuality is a choice, right? Is it a choice? Were you born gay or did you choose to be gay? Because this guy, um, you know, hey, he's making an argument that at birth, males did not come out the womb saying that hey i'm not attracted to women right that didn't happen okay that is not something that happened uh as a result of birth okay it wasn't a natural thing and that this bias against uh women that these males have that gay males have uh is a form of bigotry right and hatred okay is rooted in some form of bigotry again that is where you could take this man's argument um, I, I'm not entirely sure if he, he really understands that, okay? But regardless, I think that it's weird to be obsessed with these types of things, right? I don't care about who anybody dates racially, right? Uh, I don't care if you have a preference of staying with your own or, you know, branching out, okay? I personally don't care. I just think that it's weird when you got people that do care and they get triggered, okay, triggered over somebody else's preferences, okay? Whether they're excluding people, okay? Or just saying that, hey, I wanna date just, you know, one group of people, whatever. Who cares, man, right? <laughs> I think that in 2024, we gotta get beyond this, okay? We gotta get beyond trying to force people into dating people that they don't wanna date, right? If you don't wanna date a trans person, that doesn't make you a bigot, okay? And if you don't wanna date a black woman, that doesn't make you racist. Uh, just like if, you know, you're a man and you don't want to be with a woman, that doesn't make you a bigot, okay? Uh, or that doesn't mean that y you hate women. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, this type of stuff is just silly, right? It really is, okay? Uh, so with that being said, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.